Now that these Section 4 football playoffs are officially upon us, all eyes are focused ahead on the Carrier Dome. To get there, Class B at least has to go through Main Endwell. The Sabres have that task tomorrow, but tonight, JC and Norwich squaring off for a right to play in next week's Section Final. Wildcats heading up Route 12 to Norwich, and the Purple Tornado are psyched after a scoreless first. The Wildcats scratch the scoreboard first. Dominic Nads, let's call it 20 yards, fighting off tackles, 7 nothing JC into the break, but in the second half of a purple tornado looking to Tristan Riffenberg picking up the first and then some along the far sideline and if it works once, why not go to it again? Riffenberg, 15 yards in for the score. The Tornado survive a back and forth fourth quarter and win this one 27-14 for a bid in that section final. In Class D, Tioga taking on Moravia Tigers, looking for a fourth straight section four title. First quarter and a long drive, five minute drive works out for Moravia. Jared Lyon takes the carry and then cuts back left. And plenty of room ahead, 25 yards. Moravia up seven nothing. Tioga though, responding on the next drive. Section 4's all-time leading rusher Jesse Manuel with the carry and the cut back and into the right side and uses all that extra terrestrial speed to get into the end zone for a 41-yard score and we are tied at 7 apiece. After an onside kick, Tioga keeping the ball, giving it to Manuel. 21-yard sweep down the line, down to the 8-yard line for a first down. That puts him over 5,000 yards in his career. Two plays later, Manuel, the carry, finds Pater up the middle for the score. The Tigers go on for the blowout win 61-23. You know, every team, when you get to this point, you, you want to be peaking at the right time, and I think these kids really are. Um, you, you know, we have now have nine games under our belt, and, and that's a lot. There's plenty of experience for kids that are on the field, and, and, and I think we are clicking right now, and I hope we can carry that into next week. I've been here three times already. It's for another fourth time, it's just amazing. I'm ready to end my career in Syracuse. The Tigers draw the winner of this one. Seton looking to continue to shock the football world. Unitigo trying to avoid an upset similar to Walton. First quarter opening drive, John Gian Greco coughs it up. The Spartans fall on it and taking advantage. 22 yards out, out Josh Fairben whips out the rocket launcher, finding Ryan Marzel for the score. Spartans up 7-0, but on the ensuing drive, Gian Greco making up for his previous gaff. 18-yard keeper and taking out the pylon. We are all tied up. Spartans up 14 to 7, but the Saints knocking on the door again, but Dan O'Brien can't handle the pigskin, and we are headed the other way. Spartans drive the length of the field and finish it off in the air. Fair bend to Kyle Spaulding up top, 14 to 7 Unitigo, but in the second, the Saints down, but not quite out. Crowley up the gut. Finally brought down well after picking up the first and giving the Saints even better field position. And then on fourth and goal from just a few out, he's finishing it off. Crowley Saint brings the Saints within a score, but the Spartans taking the lead into the locker room and getting some separation here. Tanner Winchester rifling up the middle. 